What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today I have a video for you on the Elgato HD60 Pro capture card. This all-in-one streaming solution is probably one of the best out there in terms of Elgato's lineup, and it's different from the rest in the sense that it plugs directly into your PC. I've been using this for probably the past month now when I stream over on my Twitch channel, and I have noticed a huge jump in my streaming and capture quality. And I think this is hands down the best option if you're trying to capture gameplay for your YouTube channel, or if you are a streamer, the HD60 Pro is definitely the way to go. In this video, I'll tell you guys pretty much my thoughts on it, how to hook it up and get running, all that good stuff if you're in the market to pick up a new capture card. First off, this thing is tiny. It is a lot smaller than I thought, and that's gonna be great if you have a cramped build as it is, or if you're not great with your cable management, this will have no problem at all sitting inside your PC. It plugs into the PCIe slot underneath your graphics card, and that is it. No other cables inside to connect to your power supply or anything. You plug it in and you're good to go. Getting into some of the more important technical details, the HD60 Pro encodes in an H.264 format, so you can get really high quality detail out of your streams or your capture, but have much noticeably smaller file sizes, which is always a great thing. You can cap 1080p footage at 60 frames. You get instant game view, which means the second you plug this in and boot up Delgado software, there will be zero lag, which is a great change from the past when there was usually a like three to five second lag from what you're actually playing and what you were seeing on your PC. And you're getting the highest maximum bitrate out of the HD60 Pro out of the entire Elgato lineup at 60 megabytes per second compared to the rest of 40 and 30 megabytes. So you're getting much higher detail here. So like I mentioned, this gets plugged into an available PCIe slot on your computer. And then getting it hooked up from there is extremely simple. With your graphics card on the back, you have like you know, your display port, your HDMI, your DVI, all that good stuff. They include an HDMI for you. So what you're gonna do is take an HDMI from your graphics card and plug that into the HDMI in. From there, all you're left to do is use another HDMI cord that you have, plug that into the HDMI out on the back of your Elgato HD60 Pro, and then plug the other side of the HDMI into your monitor or your TV, and that's literally it. That's all the steps to hook your Elgato capture card up and be ready to get streaming or capping gameplay. Now, real quick note, since the length from your graphics card to the PCIe slot on your computer is gonna be like less than a foot, I'd recommend using a much smaller HDMI cord or one of those retractable ones. I'll put the link in the description down below so you can check those out. It's just to avoid having a huge tangled mess and cables in the back of your PC. Like I said, you're only going a matter of a few inches, so get the smallest HDMI solution possible to avoid any unnecessary mess and clutter. Now, once that's plugged in, and if you haven't already, you're gonna wanna head over to the Elgato website and download their Game Capture HD software. This is how you'll do all your gameplay capping and all your streaming from inside their software and it's extremely easy and intuitive to use. Literally from the interface, it caps all your gameplay for you in a dedicated file. You can go in, name all your files beforehand, change the quality, the color settings, the bit rate. You can do your voiceovers all from in here. It is just very easy. And if you're streaming, you don't need something like OBS or XSplit. You could stream straight from the Elgato software right to Twitch or YouTube or whatever service you're using to stream your gameplay. Now, if you're asking the overall benefits of using something like the HC60 Pro with their Elgato software, as opposed to something like, you know, just OBS, well, since this does record to that H.264 encoded format, you're getting higher quality gameplay compressed, which means you can capture in stream much more high quality gameplay in a smaller format size. So your internet won't take a huge hit. You can still upload that great gameplay without having your internet make it appear pixelated or really crappy if you don't have really fast internet. And secondly, I also have the HD60, which is the external capture card, and that's great, 
but there were so many cables and wires to hook up and it was just a pain to constantly have to, you know, plug and unplug and get everything set up with that. This is so simple. You just plug it into your PC. All you need is an extra HDMI cord and you're good to go. It's not gonna be as portable. Obviously, you're not gonna be bringing this around with you like you would with their external capture card, but that's okay. I would much rather prefer the higher bit rate with this and just the, the simplicity of plugging it in and having my streaming and gameplay capture easily handled from there. Now, if I had to mention cons, these are really reaching here. Um, it, it's just by far a better product if this is what you're looking for than any of the solutions out there or even in their lineup. Um, like I mentioned, I have the HD60 itself, but I just would prefer to use this anytime over that. Uh, the only really con I would, I guess, mention would be, yeah, the price is a little bit up there. I'd like to see it a little bit lower, but with like Amazon, you can find it cheaper. And I would have loved to have seen a backplate on this. Uh, since you plug it in, the, uh, the HD60 Pro and the Elgato logo is nice. That's on the bottom. You do have a little text here on the side, but this is what's exposed on top. I know it's not a big deal. It's would have loved to have seen that covered up. It's a minor con on my end, picking that out. I guess from an aesthetics point of view, since I like my PC to be nice and clean looking at all times. So what do you guys think? Are you gonna pick this up? I would say definitely, if you are a hardcore streamer, if you're trying to get your channel kicked off and you're, you know, you're capping gameplay and doing voiceovers, this is gonna give you the best picture quality possible. And if you're a streamer, the highest bit rate to get the best looking gameplay without really putting a huge hit in performance on your PC or on your internet. Um, I believe it retails for $199 on their website. You can get it for probably closer to 150 on Amazon. So definitely check around, look for the best prices possible so you guys can pick up the HD60 Pro from Elgato. Definitely like this. I've had it for months now. Just got around to reviewing it and uh, it is extremely solid. A great tech item for all those interested out there. Well guys, that'll wrap it up for my review and kind of overview. If you liked it, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. Don't forget to check the description where I'll have this listed as well as those smaller HDMI cords for you. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.